Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer with Summer Lee Design Co. And I love knitting socks and I design sock knitting patterns. Today, I'm gonna show you how to knit cables. Cables are basically everywhere on knitted garments. You'll find them in sweaters, hats, mittens, and of course my favorite socks. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to knit cables because I've got a new sock pattern out, the little black socks, and it involves lots of cabling. Um, it's a very simple technique to learn, very simple technique to do. It's a lot of fun and it can really elevate your knitted garments. Um, so as you can see on this shorty version, it's got a really lovely little cable detail down the side. And then on this version, it's got double cables going down the side and the original version, the original little black socks, um, beautiful cable details running all the way from the cuff all the way down to the toe. So that's what we're going to be learning how to make today. You can apply these cable techniques to anything though, not just socks. You can obviously put them on sweaters, hats, mittens, scarves, whatever you can dream to knit, you can put cables on them. So that's what we're gonna be learning today. I will put a link to this pattern that I'm working with, that I'm using um, in the description of this video, and you can check that out on Ravelry or on my Etsy shop. And I'll also put links to my Instagram page. Um, that's where I post a lot of tips and tricks as well. Um, in addition to all of my sock patterns, all the socks that I'm working on, home renovations, dogs, kids, you name it, I post it on Instagram. So I'll put a link to that as well. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at all the different materials that you'll need when you start knitting cables. All right, as you can see, I've got an assortment of cable needles laid out here. Um, these are the most common kind that you'll see. They usually come in a three pack and I will post a link to these in the description of this video. These are great for knitting hats, mittens, sweaters, scarves. Um, generally, this is the smallest size they come in and this is not quite small enough to knit socks. When you're talking about fingering weight yarn, this is still a little bit too thick so I typically do not use these for socks but this set is a great one to have when you're talking about sweaters, mittens, hats, anything like that. Um, you'll also see them in these little straight ones and they have grooves basically notched into them that kind of keep your yarn steady and kind of hold it in place. Again the smallest size is a size three on this and when you're talking about knitting socks you're usually using a size one, one and a half or size two needle still a little bit too thick. So what I like to use for knitting socks is just a spare double pointed needle. Um, and again, I'll link all of this in the description of the video. These are Chia Goo bamboo double pointed needles, um, size one. And that's typically the kind of knitting needle that I'm using when I knit socks. I use size one magic loop. Um, so whether you are using double pointed needles, tiny uh, circular needles or magic loop for knitting socks. Having a spare double pointed needle works perfect as a cable needle. And I'll show you that technique in a minute. For now, let's go ahead and look at what a cable chart actually looks like. Um, as you can see on the video, I've got pulled up here on the screen. This is what a knitting chart is when you're knitting cables. It will usually have a series of symbols showing you what you need to do, as well as a key that tells you what those symbols mean. And of course, that little black dot means to purl. A blank box usually means knit. And then you've got your cable symbol. And it's different for every pattern. I mean, there are standard cable symbols, but that doesn't mean a pattern is always going to use a standard one, but the key will at least tell you what you're supposed to do. And as you can see on the key for this, we've got C4F and C4B. C4F means cable, four stitches in the front. C4B means cable, four stitches in the back. And as you can see in the key, it tells you exactly what you need to do. Place two stitches on the cable needle and hold in front, knit two stitches, then knit two stitches off the cable needle. Or for the C4B, the back, place two cable needle or place two stitches onto your cable needle and hold in back, knit two stitches, then knit two stitches from the cable needle. So the key is great because it tells you exactly what you need to do. There are a lot of different cable stitches out there, but your key will always be your guide and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. So now let's go ahead and watch as I demonstrate exactly what that means to put stitches 
unhold on a cable needle and knit and then knit from the cable needle. All right, first I'm gonna show you on this chunkier. This is a worsted weight yarn and I'm just using straight knitting needles and a standard cable needle. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like when you're just knitting regular cable needle on worsted weight yarn. So I've already got several cables, as you can see, and I am ready for my next row of cables. Um, and as you noticed on the chart that I showed earlier, you don't cable every single row. Typically there's at least three rows between cables, sometimes more. Um, so there's a lot of straight knitting um, in between when you do your cable stitches. All right, I am at my first cable, and this is a front-facing cable, so I am going to slide two stitches onto the cable needle and hold it in front. And it's just gonna kinda hang out there. Then I'm going to knit two stitches, and then I am going to knit two stitches off the cable needle. And that is a C4F. It involves four stitches total, as you saw. And I'm going to put that down. And we're going to go to the next cable. All right, so I'm at my second cable. This is a C4B. So I'm going to take my cable needle again. We're just going to slide two stitches off onto the cable needle, and this time we're gonna hold it in back. C4B, back. That means your stitches will be held at the back. And then I'm just going to knit two stitches. And then, oops, knocked the camera, sorry. <laughs> and then knit two stitches off the cable needle. And that's it. That is all that there is to it, to making a cable. And once again, there's lots of different kinds of cable stitches. Some involve two stitches, three stitches, four, five, six, seven. And there's, you know, some that involve purling, but that key is always going to tell you what you need to do. Um, and that's it. And as you can see, I just added another twist to my cables and that's it. It's really that simple. Um, so it's really easy to do, especially on, you know, worsted weight yarn, but it's also really easy to do on sock yarn as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it on sock yarn with a spare double pointed needle. I've got this really adorable, really teeny tiny little cable sample here, um, that I'm going to show you on. And once again, I'm at the point where I need to do cables. And I'm doing Magic Loop. These are my favorite needles for Magic Loop. These are the Chiagu US size one, 40 inch circular needles. I'll put a link to those in the description because they're my absolute favorite. So now I'm just going to knit to where I'm approaching the cable. My husband is using saws and power tools building bookshelves. So if you hear if you hear saws going, that's why. All right, so now I'm at my cable. This is a C4F cable, four stitches in front. So I'm just gonna take my double pointed needle, grab two stitches, and then let them hang out in front. And then I'm going to knit two stitches. And sometimes that double pointed needle can like get a little fiddly and in your way, but once you kind of develop a rhythm with it, it's fine. Okay, so now I'm ready to knit the stitches that I had on hold here on my double pointed needle. I'm just gonna pull it down so that they're at the tip. And I'm just going to knit those two stitches. And then just keep going on my merry little way to the end of the round. And that is all there is to it. That's how you knit cables, whether on big chunky needles for a sweater or on little tiny needles for socks. And now I have that adorable little cable twist, as you can see. So that's it. That's all you really have to do. 
um, to knit cables. It's just putting stuff on hold on a needle. It's that simple. Um, so once again, I'll put a link to all the tools and materials that I used in the description of this video. And I'll also put a link to my little black socks pattern um, that you can find on Ravelry and on Etsy, as well as my Instagram, all my social channels, all that good stuff. If you found this video helpful, it really helps me out if you give it a like. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, including my podcast episodes and more sock knitting tutorials, you can hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every time I post a new tutorial or podcast. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.